Hello, and welcome to the next edition of the Cultural Cookbook with the Shimmick BASP. This is Brigaderos. For this recipe, you'll need two cans of sweetened condensed milk, some sprinkles of various kinds, cocoa powder, and a little bit of butter, and a pinch of salt. Into a small saucepan, you will pour in your sweetened condensed milk. It is very sticky, uh, so it'll take a little bit of time to get out of the can. And we're going to add our salt and cocoa powder and butter to that and use a wooden spoon to stir it all up. It'll take a little while for the cocoa to incorporate into that sticky sweetened condensed milk. And we are going to heat it over a medium to medium low flame. Um, nothing so high that it will scorch the bottom. You will need to give it quite a bit of attention because since there's so much sugar in there, it could go from fine to burned on the bottom pretty quickly. So just keep stirring that until it's all thick and put it in a pan to cool off until it's the right temperature to work with. When it's all cool, we're gonna put our different kinds of sprinkles onto plates or other flat surfaces so we'll be able to roll our brigadeiros in them easily. And then make sure that it's not still hot in the middle because you don't want sticky hot sugar mixture on your hands. And then I'm gonna use this nice disher to portion out little balls, um, a l rubbing just a small amount of butter on your hands will help keep that from sticking. Um, and then roll those in your sprinkles of choice. You could also use just granulated sugar if you would like to, um, if you don't have sprinkles or just want a different variety. Do you think you need to add sprinkles at all really to the final product? I think that coating it in something is important to the process just to make it not be sticky to pick up and eat. So granulated sugar would serve that um, function as well. And it definitely adds a second texture, which is nice. Yes, the crunchiness of the sprinkles is very excellent. Um, and then if you have candy cups or muffin cups, you can keep them separated in a container and they're done. Eat them. They're delicious. They're, uh, to me, I found them to be very similar to caramels uh, with a cocoa flavor to them. Really nice, satisfyingly chewy. Like I said before, the sprinkles give them a secondary crunchy element, which is a really nice mix up there. I could see rolling these in nuts, all kinds of different toppings. We put them in the freezer, pull them out every once in a while, and they're great fresh out of the, the freezer and still cold. So we really hope you give these ones a shot. Have a great weekend and enjoy. Have fun.